Hello and welcome to Dad's Gaming One. We are going to finish up lesson two of Game Builder Garage uh, with steps um, seven and eight. So let's get right to it. All right, here we go. And now we are going to interactive lessons. Lesson number two, we're gonna finish this up on a roll. Step seven and eight. So we got the wording in there. We got our apples. Yes, we are ready. Oh, can try beating the game. Yes. <laughs> All right. Retry features working as intended. Yep. We have the poppers. We have the um, sound, the wording, a little more spice. Teleport traps. Okay. Sounds interesting. How do you make a teleport trap? Very glad you asked. We simply enlist the services of a very talented teleport expert. Of course, named teleport, no done. So teleport object and, okay, so we have entrance and exit. All right, so probably you match them up. Mm, it was you who summoned me to this mortal realm. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm assuming it comes in here and we'll have it go to the beginning of the game. Let's see. Let's send the ball into uh, some space. Make the teleport object entrance node on a bit smaller. Put it in the blue frame. All right, so we have our game board. There's our apples. We're going to put these traps. So I lay these around. So let's start by making the entrance itself look round. Go up here. It's bouncing on others, so I thought it was other. Okay, next we want the ball to be the object that's being warped. Okay. So we're going to pick here. We're going to... Enable sphere. A turn up. <laughs> Some interesting things here. All right, so we have teleport IDs, object shapes, properties, and connection points. Okay. When one enters the realm of subspace, one's corpor corporeal presence is diminished, they will be lost from the game screen. All right. Do you still wish to cross the void? Yeah, buddy. So pump for this. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. So there it is. It's a spear. Try rolling the ball into the entrance. Okay. Disappears. Yes. Spooky. Now we lost. We don't even have the game to restart. <laughs> okay, well, now that our ball is nowhere to be seen, our only option is to retry. All right, so that's where we're going to provide the exit. Here, that there's also a teleport exit. Call up a teleport object exit note on. Let's see what we can do. All right. <laughs> the astral plane. Okay, the teleport object exit node on. I'm assuming right back to the beginning. You need only one position. You need only position me at the place where you wish objects to reappear. Okay. So let's put it over here, the starting point. Let's see. Yep, there it goes. Yes, came back at the starting point. Perfect. That's a nice, uh, nice feature. 
All right, so let's uh, make it a little fancier. All right, so we have these fancy objects. So it looks like I'm gonna put that over that spot. All right, so we can put it over here. So half of it's gonna be hiding inside of this wall. A marvelous metaphor. All right, so we want it to be visible, enable visible it already is. So, hmm. So we uncheck solid and movable. Yes, we don't want it to be movable. I would think solid. Well, no, I guess not. It, would, it can't be solid. All right, so we're going to copy that one. Uh, yeah, but okay, so take this to the Z axis rotation to 90. Oops, too far. Okay. But if we Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. So we copied it. Let's see. And there it comes out like a wall or like a doorway. <clears throat> uh, I'm just wondering if this one is flat. Didn't we have to rotate it? Oh, maybe that was right. It was the Z axis. We changed it. Yep. Wonder why we see those wire marks. Okay, no need for us to see the white outline. There it is. I should have waited. See, our plan is to hide the teleport points appearance. Okay. First, select a teleport object entrance node on. Ah. Okay, so the hoop is still there, but the the portal isn't. Okay, so we wanted to do it to this one too. And there it is. That looks much better. I wonder if you could put like a black inside of here so it looks like a black hole that you must be able to. Alright. It's like I always say you can never have enough teleporters. <laughs> Teleporting would be nice in real life too. Alright. So we're gonna copy this to here. I'm assuming we're going to copy the other thing as well. Oh, <laughs> I saw the ball down here. I'm thinking, okay, it wants me to go down here, but no, it's not where it is. Okay, no need for alarm. Oh, another copy. Wow, we're going to put them all over the place. Belief is the power that expands one's world, believe it or not. Okay, so now we're going to need a whole bunch of hoops. Yes, right. So we're going to copy these. Put that one over here. Copy that one. That's pretty cool that you can hide it in the wall. You don't have to like cut it down to like in half to put it there. It'll just be hidden. Okay, so copy that one. Hoop, hoop, hoopy doop. <laughs> All right, so let's see what that looks like. Yeah. All right, so we go in here, comes out there. We go up here. 
we go here. Yep, same thing. See if I can do it without. Very sensitive. That one works. Yeah, hold on, let me get this last one. And that one works. Just checking the work, and there it goes. Perfect. All right, how about that? It's time to close the door on step seven. That is wonderful. Almost there. There's a lot into this one. Okay, I'll give it some background music and that'll be that. All right. Is it magic? Teleporting objects. Right analysis guide. Finishing touches. Final step of honor roll. Own personal flair. Oh boy. We still have a bit of legwork to do before we can change the game's look though. It's time to call up a certain node on that can melt the world like body world node on. I thought we already had a world node on because that's the world. We like that look in your eyes. It is a look of great resolve. That looks like a world. Let us go forth and create the world you envision. <laughs> Yes, World Node on here has the power to change the shape and appearance of the game screen. We can test it out now by changing the floor texture. Oh, okay. So, World Lighting, Material, Object Appearance, Non-Destructive, Destructive. Can't see what's behind there, but World Appearance. So world appearance, we have grass, tiles, metal, and sand. So we're gonna pick metal, I guess. Oh, and the shape could be cuboid, cylinder, sphere, dome, or plane. Hmm. Oh, pretty cool. Well, oh, those are the shadows. Yeah, I wonder if you could change color further. Okay, we're gonna put some background music in. Huh. This one's got a little bit of a little bit of everything. Okay. Are you ready to amp up this joint? It's been a while, but now we're back in style. All right, we're gonna pick some good. I wonder what I have for music. They're ready. They certainly are ready. One more time. Oh, everybody's in it. All right. All right, input signal. I'll put constant note on. It's interesting that the settings for the music wouldn't be in the background music note on, but. All right, so I've got unceasing passion and I never miss a beat. Constant note on is in the house. <laughs> All right, so. We're going to connect constant to play. Oh, this has got volume and speed. Oh, you could do a lot of different mixes here. Funky, now let's, let's bop on over and check out our track. I don't remember setting some music, but I guess there's music now. Okay, okay, let's change the music. Oh, it says excited, so I wonder if that's the... Default. Oh, yep. A pair of theme. Do you hear the music? Yes. And uh, rhythm. All right. So, yes. We want to change theme. Okay, so it changes all of them. Change it however we like. All right, so how about, oh, it's gonna tell me. 
Is it going to let me do whatever? <laughs> it's silent, so there's no main. That one's silent, so it's going to silent each each part to this. Let's close the settings for now, so it's not going to let me, is it? <laughs> I thought we were going to pick our own. There is like a Mario type. Alright. This next part is entirely up to you, Dance Gaming One. It makes me nervous. You can change the world appearance to anything you like. Get creative with the background music. Maybe add text with the text. Object note on. Really make it your own. Alright. We'll just add a few things here. We'll go. How do you zoom in again? So let's change this. What do they have? They have, um, maybe we should do mad dash. Let's see what that does. <laughs> well, that sounds a little better. Make it a little comical type thing here. So let's do that. And let's change the world. Oh, oh it won't let me change the shape. So let's change it to, I wonder if sand would be. Let's try sand. Evening, night. Hmm. Outer space. Well, let's change object appearance. No, we'll leave it like that. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> oh, no. Move the controller too much. I wonder if you could make them also come back. So if you get in the portal, all the other apples come back. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let's, um... Well done, is it time to see the finished project? I uh, already cheated and did. <laughs> it just screams Dad's Game 1, okay. No! There, the masterpiece made it through. <laughs> All right. Honor Roll is ready for its official debut. Well, I'll have to put that up there for other people to download. It's so good. <laughs> All right, we're you're on a rock and roll. So seem to be a lot inside of this one, as far as keeping score, counter, timer. Um, thought of with the uh, sensors too, putting the words on there. So this one's had a lot in it, it's pretty good. I don't know what the next one will be. Cause I think there's seven lessons. All right, so we dealt with a number of tricky aspects this lesson, tilting, making calculations, comparing values, but you breeze through it all like it was nothing. You're really a natural. I hope you're looking forward to the next lesson because I certainly am. Let's add on a roll to your my games list. Okay. 
All right, lesson two, game complete. All right, so that's going to go on our list of games. We can go back and edit them or... And there they are, so two of them. Tag showdown and on a roll. Okay. Yeah, it does use a lot of features of the Switch for that one. Okay, so what's lesson three? There we go. All right. So, lesson three. No, it's going to make us to a checkpoint. Move, moving a movable object. Hey, Dad's Gaming 1. Let's put our um, uh, put a test. Okay, time to make sure you probably grasp the functions of the node on the Game Builder Garage. Okay, moving a movable object. So we have to make that. Oh, nope. Did they put everything in here? Let's see. Apple. Puzzle. Right there, stick. They did do it, but they put them over here. Oops, why is it moving the screen here? So that's using the left stick. You can't edit any of this. Boom, and there, there it goes. All right, so we got moving that one. The calculator decides. The calculator decides, okay. Well, that was weird. Come on, yes, just rolled in. All right, now let's see. Number three, counting counters. All right, five. So, hmm, the left right stick is still there. Let me try this again. All right, so here's our person right there. That's that number. Can't change anything there. But it's going over to here. Well, let me change anything there. Nothing there. No. 
Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to be, let's see if we need to reconnect it somewhere. So it goes over there. Starts at zero. Nothing on that one either. And that's the fixed value. So let's change that to count up because it was at countdown. So let's see if that works. Yes, and it worked. Oh my word. Okay. Number four, comparisons. And that's all it is, comparisons. Let's see. So here's the comparison one and two. What did it look like again? Hmm. No. <laughs> okay. It was the other one. All right. So teleporting etiquette. So we have to teleport probably from the first one to the second one. Grab the apple. All right, we can't grab any more stuff. So what we have to do is change this. Teleport person. Okay. We need to do anything with this one? No. Okay. And there it is. They're all clear. We finished lesson two. Took our test. Checkpoint two. And that will be wrapping up here. Ooh, next one is alien... Blaster. That looks pretty cool. And, um, okay, so that's going to wrap this up. So if you um, like this video, please leave a comment, um, give it a like, um, subscribe, and we will see you in lesson three. Take care.